If you're a sports fan, make sure you go check out Sportscaster for all of your sports needs. Whether you're a football fan, basketball fan, or baseball fan, this app is the perfect way to get news for your team and is an app I personally use myself in case any of you guys want to check out my pregame, halftime, or postgame streams. I'll leave a link in the description below. What is up, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video, and in this one, I want to talk about the playoff picture, but more specifically, how the New England Patriots can regain home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Before their recent loss to the Houston Texans, the New England Patriots sat above everybody else within the AFC. They were actually the number one team in the AFC, which means two things. One, that they got a first round bye through the playoffs, and two, that they got a home field advantage throughout the entirety of the playoffs. That loss to the Texans then dialed them down and put them at a record of 10-2, and two, which... The Baltimore Ravens also currently sit at, so they no longer go from the best team in the AFC. They are now tied for the best team. And you might be wondering, well, Patriots Global, why do they not have home field advantage right now? I mean, they're the same record as the Ravens, and the Patriots had the better record for the longer period of time. And sadly, that goes back to a couple of weeks ago on actually November 3rd. So just about a month ago, when the Patriots were served their first loss of the season, when they went to Baltimore and they lost to the Ravens 20-37. to Because of that win that the Baltimore Ravens have over the New England Patriots, that in the NFL is considered a tiebreaker, and that puts them over the Patriots. It would be the same scenario if the Patriots had lost to a different team and had beaten the Ravens, then the Patriots would actually have home field advantage still, even if they were the same record as the Ravens. There are four weeks left in the NFL of the regular season in order to get things to change. And guys, the playoff picture, it's important. Now, either way, I don't see the New England Patriots being worse than second in the AFC. So I definitely, without a doubt, see them keeping that first week by from the playoffs. But yet again, the question mark is, is the playoffs going to go through Foxborough? Or are the Patriots going to have to go through Baltimore? The Patriots are all right on the road. They're not great on it, that's for sure. I mean, they have not lost at home since the 2017 season when they hosted the Carolina Panthers. Stephon Gilmore, of course, had that defensive pass interference, which gave the Carolina Panthers the first down. They kicked a field goal, and they won. But that just goes to show how great and dynamic and just different that the Patriots are when they're at home versus when they're on the road. Gillette Stadium is considered one of the hardest places, if not the hardest place to play in sports. Having a stadium filled with fans of the home team is an extreme advantage, and I can attest to this. I've seen it multiple times. I've even seen it this season when the Patriots played the Philadelphia Eagles. That was clearly a home game for the Eagles, and it played a very, very big impact on the game and was a big reason why that game was even close despite the Patriots winning. We've also seen how tough it can be for teams, even like the New England Patriots, to go to a place like, for example, last season during the playoffs where the Chiefs had home field advantage and they had to go there for the championship round of the playoffs. That was clearly a home game there for the Chiefs and they had a big advantage there because of the crowd. New England already had to travel through Baltimore and we saw how well that ended up. Let's have them come to our turf now where it is really just impossible to win and let's see how it turns out. So, sadly, the 49ers and Jimmy Garoppolo were not able to gift the Patriots with a win over the Ravens today. So, that means that the top way that the Patriots can regain home field advantage for the playoffs is that the Ravens are going to have to lose another game. Again, there are four weeks left here in the NFL for that to happen, and I'm looking at the Ravens' schedule and uh, it, it's not a great possibility for that to happen, okay? They play the Bills, the Jets, the Browns, and the Steelers. Is there a chance that they lose one of those games? Yeah, of course there's a chance, but let's look at how the Ravens are playing and look at the defenses, and I don't see any of them being able to stop them. Now, the Browns did beat the Ravens Earlier on in the season, back in September, the Browns beat them 40-25, to so maybe the Browns can capitalize on that win and beat them again somehow, and the Steelers 
They lost to them earlier back in October, but it was a very close game in overtime 26-23. to So while it definitely isn't likely just looking at the progression of the Baltimore Ravens, there is definitely a chance and you've seen the struggles that they've had in the past. To go along with the Baltimore Ravens having to lose at least one more game, the other part of the situation and scenario is the fact that the New England Patriots are going to have to win out. They can also not lose any more games for the rest of the season, and the rest of the season the Patriots are looking at playing the Chiefs, the Bengals, the Bills, and the Dolphins. Obviously, the two teams here that are going to serve the question are going to be next week versus the Chiefs and the Bills. Now, I have a lot of faith that New England can win out. I don't see why they can't. But again, the big piece to this puzzle is that the Ravens are going to have to do their part and uh, lose a game for us. Now, the NFL is also very analytical. I mean, this is the point in the season where you're getting a lot of situations where if the Patriots win or they get a Steelers loss and an Oakland win, then they clinch the playoffs, you know, crap like that. So there could also be situations that come up where the Patriots are having to rely on other teams to win and or lose in order to regain that. It's all situational. It's all based off of seeding. So it can get really weird and really confusing. And that might be where the Patriots have to shift if it still continues to stay in a tie between the Ravens and the Patriots. But of course, those are situations that are going to come out on a weekly basis, and they are going to depend on each and every single game now that is played in the NFL by every single team. Because again, at this point, teams that are winning and teams that are losing are shifting the seeds in the NFL. So of course, obviously, the easiest way this is going to happen is New England winning out and the Ravens losing one more game. The Baltimore Ravens are a stellar team, definitely the hype around the NFL for this season. They are this year's Kansas City Chiefs, and beating them is certainly no walk in the park, but if it's coming through Foxborough, I have a lot more faith. I have a lot more faith in our fan base, our team, and our home, so hopefully this scenario works out in our advantage, but what are your guys' thoughts on home field advantage? Do you believe in it? Do you not believe in it? What are your guys' thoughts on the whole situation? Let me know in the comments below, and please make sure you guys like and subscribe. It helps me and the channel out way more than I can ever explain. Make sure you guys share this video with everybody who knows when go to the Pages Global family, and other than that, I will catch you guys in another video.